Okay, we've been learning about the Bible and all the books of the Bible, and Chloe has been teaching us um, the New Testament Bible books, and she's going to start us out today with the song, and she'd like to hear you guys singing along with her, okay? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts and led to the Romans, First and Second Corinthians, Galatians, and Ephesians. Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews and the book of James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, Jude and Revelation. Good job. I heard you, Phoebe. You know almost all of them. And you know, pretty soon the kids at church are going to be singing right along with Chloe before we get to Revelations. Okay, well you know what? We started a couple of weeks ago with the New Testament. We we did the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Mm -hmm. And then last week we did Acts, right? Now, remember in Acts how um, it told us what happened right after Jesus went back to heaven. And we learned how the, the first the church began, how they spread the good news about Jesus and thousands believed. And we heard also in the book of Acts how the, first, the early church was. They, there, No one had any needs because they shared their food and their clothes and their money with each other. They cared for each other very dearly. Well, now we're in another section of the New Testament. It starts with Romans and goes all the way down to the book of Jude. Now, you know what I have here, Phoebe? It's a letter from your cousin Adriel. He wrote to Grandma. He said, Dear Grandma, and he wrote me some thoughts he thought were very important to him. You know, it's really nice getting letters. Sending and receiving letters is one way to let people know what you're thinking. Well, you know, I mentioned that because these books that I'm telling you about well, they're called the epistles. Can you say that word? The epistles. 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 There's 21 of them, and they're letters that were written to believers in churches. Now, the writers of the letters wanted to let someone they know, that they, whom they loved, to t they wanted to tell them something that they thought was important. Now, all the messages aren't exactly the same in each one of these epistles, but um, uh, some of them encouraged believers who are being persecuted, and some of them corrected stuff, and some of them explained stuff. But every one of them helped believers understand who God is and helped them know how to live the way God wanted them to live. Now, back in Bible days, if you had to give a message to someone, could you just call them on the telephone? No. No. Okay, could you send them an email? No. No. How about could you get on an airplane and fly there in a couple hours and tell them? No. No. Communication and travel was slow back then. If you wanted to send somebody a message, you would have to get, like, get on a big ship and sail for days and days. Or you would have to write a letter that would then take a long trip. Now we're going to back up just a little bit and go back to Acts right there and talk about a man named Saul. Now Saul became known as Paul, but we're going to call him Paul all the way through so the little guys don't get confused. Now Paul at first thought that Jesus was not God's son. And with all these people believing in Jesus and joining God's family, well, he didn't like that at all. He wanted to stop that. So he decided he would go to the city of Damascus and get all the people who loved Jesus and put them in jail. And on the road to Damascus, something happened. A bright light shone down and Paul fell to the ground. He couldn't see. He was blind. 
And then he heard a voice. It was Jesus' voice. And Jesus said, why are you hurting me? See, since Paul was hurting Jesus' friends, that was like hurting Jesus too. And Paul was so surprised, he said, he asked what, he asked what to do. And Jesus said, go into the city and wait. So Paul had to be led by the hand. He couldn't see. So his friend had to lead him by the hand. He went into the city and he waited for three days. He didn't eat. He just prayed and waited. And God sent a man named Ananias. Ananias loved Jesus. And he sent Ananias to help Paul. So Ananias found out where Paul was at and went there. And he said, the Lord Jesus sent me so that you may see again. And right away, Paul could see. Now Paul loved and obeyed Jesus. Now Paul started telling people everywhere about Jesus. He traveled to many places and countries, sometimes sailing for days and days on big ships. And how he went to places like <clears throat> Malta and Philippi and Corinth and Galatia and Ephesus and Rome, just to name a few, he really got around. And everywhere Paul went, he, he shared the good news about Jesus and told people how to be saved. And these people who learned about Jesus, they went to their friends and they told what they knew about Jesus. And God's family grew and grew. And all these people, well, they had to know how to live together. They had to know how to grow up in God's family. So Jesus' friends couldn't call him up on the telephone. They sent them letters. And when a letter came, it was very exciting. They read it over and over and over again. Now, one of the people who wrote many of the letters was Paul. And he helped them know more about Jesus. His letters showed them ways to obey and, and taught them about just more about God, how to obey God. And out of these 21 epistles, 13 of them were written by Paul. And Jesus' other friends, James and Peter and John, also wrote letters to God's family. And as the message of God's uh, love spread, God's family grew bigger and bigger, spread all throughout the world. And those epistles, those letters, are now part of, I mean, they're a part of our Bible. Right here in this section, right here. Now our Bible words today come, Paul wrote them to the church in Ephesus. So let's look for the, for the book called Ephesians. Can you find, Chloe, can you point to the book Ephesians? Right there after Galatians, right. So this is what... Paul wrote to the believers in Ephesus. Ephesians 4, 2. Do you want to read your Bible words? It's right here on your color page. Be completely humble and gentle. And Be, gentle. Patient, Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Okay, so Paul wrote to them to be humble, to be gentle, be patient, and loving. Do you think God wants us to, to live together like this? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, Phoebe, come here. Do you have a song? Yes. Now, Chloe, where did the good news about Jesus start? What city? Uh -huh. Jerusalem. It started in Jerusalem. And Phoebe, it grew and grew and grew. Do you have a song about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. He got the whole world in his hands. He got up the whole wide world in his hands. He got the big ground world in his hands. He got the whole world in his hands. He got you and me, sister, in his hands. He got you and me, brother. In his hands he's got everybody. In his hands he's got the, the whole world in his hands. 
Thank you. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Say goodbye. We love you. Bye bye. We love you.